Did you get pushback in those early days over this idea of having a non-governmental entity sure. take over the DNS sure. or manage Absolutely. the DNS? Sure. I mean, there were people within the administration opposing it. Um, you know, the Japanese government initially didn't like it. The EU didn't like it. Um, and uh, certainly members of Congress didn't but like it. But what about within the administration itself? Yeah, there were people in the administration who, who thought um, that, uh, you know, the, uh, I think some of them even said, you know, this is a hippie-like thing you're trying to do here. And, you know, it's, uh, it's not uh, proper governance and so on and so forth. And uh, I just kept coming back at them and saying, look, you don't understand the Internet. I mean, the Internet by its nature is a rebellious entity, right? It, it, it finds its root around any attempt to control it. And its, its real power is that it mobilizes uh, a vast number of people uh, to do things which then can be adopted in a horizontal way. It's not something that has to get approvals all up the chain. And regulation is the worst thing you can do. What you need is an orderly process. You need an orderly framework, a legal framework. But the worst thing you could do is take away its democratizing uh, strength. So uh, I prevailed in the arguments, and uh, uh, I think, and there were others with me. It wasn't just me. But we prevailed in the administration and then eventually convinced other governments that this was the way to go.